For many of you, this brings back terrifying memories. But this is only a simulation of what the U.S. Chemical Safety Board believes the 2019 TPC explosion looked and sounded like. Today, the feds released this new video hoping to prevent future disasters. Good evening, everyone. Investigators say the Port Nature's explosion could have been avoided. Yeah, that blast damaged thousands of homes and businesses and also caused millions and millions of dollars in damage. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert watched that new video simulation with a lawyer who is still fighting uh, on behalf of the victims. Cam is live tonight in Port Nature's. Yeah, guys, four years ago here in Port Natchez, it was business as usual. Nobody at the plant, certainly not the citizens of Port Natchez, could have expected that sensitive chemicals inside were forming a bomb. In the middle of the night, the day before Thanksgiving, it went off. TPC did not take steps to effectively control or prevent the buildup of popcorn polymer. In a near 15-minute video released Wednesday, the U.S. Chemical Safety Board answered years of questions. How the worst fears of living near a chemical plant can come true. According to the CSB investigation, the plant failed to manage popcorn polymer, which is a well-known hazard for plants producing butadiene. At TPC, a stretch of piping went out of service for several months, and popcorn polymer grew inside for more than 100 days. Then the pipe ruptured, releasing the flammable gas. Had TPC implemented the 2016 recommendation for personnel to regularly flush piping associated with out-of-service equipment, the dangerous buildup of popcorn polymer that led to this incident could have been prevented. Could have been prevented. A line attorney Mark Sparks has used more than a few times, fighting on behalf of thousands of people impacted by the catastrophe. I think it solidifies what we all had kind of anticipated was the cause of the accident. The video is revealing. I think. It's nice and graphically soothing to watch. But he still has more questions. Why is it that all of us have to have a minimum amount of insurance when we drive on a roadway, but when someone operates a plant that can blow up and destroy a city, there's no such regulation. Sparks is less interested in how it happened. He wants to know why it happened. Accountability of the owners who assume direct control. We're neighbors, so behave like a neighbor. I've got insurance on my stuff. Get insurance on your stuff. My stuff's not exploding. Make sure your stuff doesn't explode. Four years later, Mark Sparks and the Ferguson Law Firm are still in the middle of that lawsuit. They're still seeking compensation for some of those victims. And as for that video released today by the CSB, you can find the full version on our website. Live in Port Natchez tonight, Cameron Seibert, 12 News. Yeah, you can find all that on 12newsnow.com. Thank you, Cam.